Did you know that this little bad boy right here can be the key to a woman's naughty imagination? and that you can turn a woman on just by the push of a few buttons. Whether you just met her or you've been texting her for a long time, when you can turn a woman on through text using the word for word examples that I'm about to give you, she will be fantasizing about you all night long. The next time she sees a text from you, she's gonna start getting all excited with anticipation as dopamine starts flooding her brain. It's that powerful. So don't be like most guys that turn women off when they text and bore them out of their minds. Be the guy that knows how to unlock her deepest desires and fantasies. And I'm gonna give you some of my dirtiest secrets from my best-selling book, Turn Her On Through Text, along with actual word-for-word -word text messages that will drive her wild with desire for you. Before we get started, I already know you're gonna love the following text messages, but if you want more and you wanna know what to text in certain situations, best first text, how to keep the conversation going so she sees you as the prize and sees you as this high-value, attractive man and how to get the date quickly and what to do if she doesn't doesn't text back, then make sure to get a copy of Turn Her On Through Text. I'll put a link down in the description. Number five is the word association game. This one works really well. In fact, when I first tried this was when I was writing Turn Her On Through Text. It was about 12 or maybe one in the morning and I was really in the zone trying out different things that are now in the book. And so I sent the following text to a girl that I was dating and it worked a little bit too well. She got so turned on that she begged me to come over right then and there. And she actually got mad at me because I didn't let her come over. So a word of warning, before you send any of the following texts, make sure you can actually see her right then and there or she might get a little upset at you. So it's really simple, it goes like this. You just start off by saying, hey, let's play a game. As long as she says yes, then you say, let's play the word association game. I say a word and then you say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay, go. Ocean. Death. Relaxed. Sued. Bite. Down. Spank. Harder, LOL. Dripping. Yes, you're turning me on, you win. My turn? No, one more. Dominated. Pass, haha. -ha. So just start with non-sexual words and then transition after about four or five back and forth with words that could be a sexual innuendo. And you'll see how quickly the game turns sexual. By the way, man, make sure to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. I'm always dropping tons of value there and shoot me a DM, I'd love to chat with you. And if you like the video so far, drop me one of these and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any other techniques that have worked for you for turning women on. I'd love to know about it. All right, let's get back to the video. Number four is movie or book quotes. This is great, especially if you haven't actually slept with her yet, you're still kinda in the early stages of the relationship and you don't wanna just say something sexual right out of the blue because you're not quite sure how she's gonna take it because with texting, there's no emotion. She might think you're just being flirty and cheeky, but she could take it as kind of creepy. So you do need to be careful with your sexual or intimate texts in the beginning. But using a quote from something else is a safe, indirect way to just kinda test the waters. So here's the example. Hey. I need your opinion on something. Sure. My friend Kelly was reading this novel and was starting to get really turned on. So I grabbed the book from her grubby little paws, LOL, and saw what she read and began to get really mesmerized by this text. Before we keep going, I just wanna point something out. Did you notice how I said get really turned on or get mesmerized by this text? That's a neuro-linguistic programming technique called embedded command that plants the idea into her subconscious mind. And I show you exactly how to use those embedded command texts in Turn Her On Through Text. What did it say? It said, he lunges at me, pushing me against the wall of the elevator. Before I knew it, he's got both of my hands in one of his in a vice-like grip above my head and he's pinning me to the wall using his hips. His other hand grabs my ponytail and yanks it down, bringing my face up, and his lips are on mine. I moan into his mouth, giving his tongue an opening. He takes full advantage, his tongue expertly exploring my mouth. I have never been kissed like this. And if you wanna see her reply and what I did next, you're gonna to have to get turn her on through text. And notice how there was a lot of descriptive language in that book quote. And for the next examples, I'm gonna do the same. Number three is using a role play. These are great because role plays are fantasy. They're not real. So you can get away with saying some pretty risque or outlandish things because it's no big deal. It's not real. 
but it still plants the idea in her mind. Hey, I'm bored. Let's fly to Vegas and elope. I was just thinking the same thing, LOL. But where should we go on our honeymoon? I have always wanted to go to the Bahamas. Could you imagine us in our little beach villa, watching the sunset as I wrap you in my strong arms and look deep into your eyes and dot dot dot, your turn. No, keep going. I scoop you up in my arms, you feel a surge of energy flood your body as I spin you around, leaving you slightly faint and dizzy. And then I lay you swiftly upon our fluffy bed, the sheets feel smooth against your skin as if you were laying on puffy clouds in the sky. There's a lot more to this, but you get the point. Do you see how you need to start using descriptive language and imagery in your text if you want to turn her on? That's the same reason that women are absolutely addicted to romance novels. In fact, romance novels are the number one selling book category. They're like crack to women. That's why they're called chick porn, because they paint this fantasy, this romantic image in their mind, and they can't help feel like they're in that moment. And of course, they're gonna start getting aroused and turned on. And again, if you wanna learn how to do that, get turn her on through text. Next is simply describe what you do to her. Here's an example. I have a big test today. I'm so stressed out. I wish I was there. If I were, dot, dot, dot. That's a nice little cliffhanger text. She has to respond to that. What? You'd feel me come up behind you and pull you in close to me, my strong hands crawling up your back and slowly massaging your shoulders. You feel my breath on your neck and it sends a shiver down your spine. Little shocks of electricity fill your body as I massage the tension out of your shoulders. Imagine all the stress melting like ice, thawing on a warm summer day. Your whole world just fades away and all there is for you to think about are my strong hands gliding over your skin. Oh my God, Matt, that would be amazing. Imagine you feeling my nails slightly scratching the back of your legs, sending a shiver up through your body. Your skin is tingling and feels alive in a whole new way. You feel rejuvenated and ready to take on the world. Trust me, it got even better after that. And anybody can do this. These are a little bit longer texts. They do take a little bit of time to craft them out, but I give you tons of examples and turn her on through text. You can literally just copy and paste them or you can craft your own because I show you exactly how to craft your own. I give you lists of descriptive words that you can use at just the right moment to plant the right seed in her mind. So again, if you want to turn her on through text, make sure to download it. There's a link down in the description. Finally, this one is so simple but effective. It's not texting, but it's still with your phone. It's voice messages and voice notes. Now the key when you're actually texting is what you say, the actual words on the screen. But when you're leaving a voice note, what you actually say isn't so important because you're gonna turn her on with your tonality, with your voice. So you need to just slow things down, speak in a little bit lower, more grounded baritone voice, kind of like I'm doing right now. You can tell I don't have the sexiest Marlon Brando or Morgan Freeman voice. My voice is a little bit more high pitched than that, but I can still turn a woman on just by speaking slowly, getting into a more seductive, lower tone, just like this. Make sure you avoid filler words, um, like, uh, not attractive. And here's something that can make pretty much anybody's voice sound more seductive, is just get really close to the phone like this. It sounds a lot more seductive when you do this. You can say something kind of simple, like, hey, what's up? Give me a call back when you get this. I'll be free for the next hour or so. Call me. Or you can say something kind of cheeky, like, hey, what's up? You just popped into my mind. Are you using some kind of weird voodoo ninja magic on me? You better stop doing that or you're gonna get in trouble, young lady. Anyways, call me back. Now, maybe that example isn't your personality, but the point is, you can turn her on just by leaving some voice notes or leaving a voice message. So try these, man, because they flat out work. Leave me a comment down below. I wanna know about all the women that you're turning on. Or maybe you just have one special woman that, you know, has been a little aloof, she's a little 
seems a little out of your range. If you can send her some messages, whether it be text or voice like this, then trust me, she's gonna be blowing up your phone. Hopefully that's not all she blows. No, we can't put that in there. Edit that out. But look, man, if you wanna be a ninja when it comes to texting, then you need to download Turn Her On Through Text. Because not only is it gonna show you how to use alliteration and descriptive imagery to turn her on, but it's also gonna show you exactly what to text her in certain situations. How to build more attraction, how to paint you as the prize so she's chasing you, and how to get a date fast. And of course, what to do if she doesn't text you back. And by the way, I have a lot more videos on this channel on what to do in various textual situations. So make sure to subscribe to this channel, click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing, and make sure to watch the next video that I have linked down below because it's gonna give you a lot more tips when it comes to texting. And let's face it guys, you can't be too good nowadays when it comes to texting. My name's Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm always giving a lot of tips and value there, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.